So I was going to talk about one thing that I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. Um, we have, I have, and, and some colleagues, Bridget at Salisbury Museum, have been working on developing a partnership with um, Wessex Archaeology, Wiltshire Creative um, and Art Care at the Salisbury District Hospital. Um, we've been working on it for a long time, we've done lots of piloting on um, how we can provide a framework of um, mental health support activities, um, sort of social prescription. Um, and one of the partners, one of the other partners, the Wessex Archaeology, and I, we were just having a catch up. What can we do? What can we? What steps can we take? Um, and uh, Lee at Wessex Archaeology and I were basically working towards the same goals. We have a steering group for that project who are all people who've taken part in the pilot project. So they're people who have identified as having mental health needs. And um, we've been working with them from the pilot stage for well over a year. So it felt really important to be able to offer them something. But we're having to do it uh, remotely. So there are several stages to that, getting them feeling comfortable. And one of the biggest learnings I've had from offering a Zoom session to a group of vulnerable people is that we knew them really, really well. Um, if we hadn't, it would have been incredible. It would have been much, much more difficult. And the only way we would now consider doing that would be if the session was led, at least co-led by a support worker who knew that group really well, and that the members of the group um, know each other in some way before we start, because otherwise it'd be a much longer process than what we were talking about. Um, so what we offered was um, an introduction session, which was literally just hello, enabling people to talk, and um, this is how it works. Um, and what I was going to say is that we found it incredibly important at that point to be really, really um, overt about the safety measures we'd put in place on Zoom to make it safe. What, what we'd done with our settings, they needed to know that for their anxiety levels, um, that they were entering a safe space the same as they would when they were coming to the museum or, or any of the other organisations to, to meet with us. Um, we did, then we then did two sessions led by Wessex Archaeology and an artist, Sue Martin, and then two sessions led by myself for the Salisbury Museum with the idea that we started with objects and we, sh we were very keen to show objects. Wessex were able to show some of their 3D realised objects, which is, was really cool. Um, um, and I was able to go into the museum on one day to pick things up um, and I did a small video tour of the area of the museum I was talking about. And I found myself doing video unboxings, like I'm some sort of YouTuber, and this is all very new to me. But unboxings at the museum, and I've got a whole load of those to see what I can do with. Uh, those things went down really well. They wanted to see, connect to the objects. So we found a way to enable them to connect to the objects in the museum without them being there. And they really appreciated that. They loved the video tour. Um, being able to see those spaces that they were familiar with went down incredibly well. What was really key, just as something to share, is that we had originally talked about setting them tasks at the end of the Monday session and then they would come back and show us what they'd done on the Friday. Um, we overwhelmed them a bit, probably the first time, so any tasks, anything you send people away to do needs to be flexible, it needs to be really, really clear. You can do this, but you don't have to. You can do it like this or like that. Whatever your response is, is valid. And no response in the current circumstances is entirely fine too. Um, also simple and clear content. Uh, some images, one video, some key questions. And then the third thing we learned, which is the really important one, um, is what that enables is that then the session is participant led. So you, you, have, you have your little set of questions that go with your object. What is this? What do you think it is? Um, are there any equivalents of this? And then uh, moving into their own lives and own settings, we were asking them to start considering their own objects in their own space, given that we're uh, locked in at the moment. Um, and they, they were then able, if you just give them that space, to really lead it. Because ultimately, what everybody wants at the moment is an opportunity to make social connections. That's why I come back to my theme from the beginning of this. And so I suppose 
over the next few weeks, I'll be trying to apply that learning to the other digital content that I uh, tried to create, including this one.